Okay, Patricia, yeah, can you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us uh, where you're from and what brought you in? All right. Hi, I'm Patricia Benson from Laguna Beach, and um, I came in because I was very off balance and... Um, How, what caused your balance to deteriorate? From my um, having cancer and having treatment. I see that you had a stage four, it was a brain tumor, correct? Yeah. And you had a series of uh, radiation chemotherapy treatments? Right. Okay, what year was that? 2002 it started yeah. and continued on until 2009. All right, but it's in complete remission as of now. Great. However, just uh, one or two years ago, you started having what symptoms in your feet as a result of the chemotherapy? Having wet in my feet. Loss of balance, you said? Yes. Okay. Major. All right, and has it been getting progressively worse over the years? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Just noticeably where it was really bothering her in the last nine months probably. Yeah. And did that prevent you from like taking long walks or even climbing stairs with, exactly. without worrying about Exercising. falling? Exercising. Yeah. And what activities do you enjoy doing? I love exercising. Okay. And I'm back to it now. Yeah. Wow. So your balance has improved. Yeah. All right. And then? I have a trainer and she's helping me. And Great. And you could do one-legged stances and all that? I don't know if I could do that. Well, we've got to progress to there, correct? But you notice when you're walking, it's more stable and you're more confident. Yes. All right. And then you've had about a dozen treatments with the uh, neurofeedback light therapy uh -huh. plus our transcranial magnetic therapy. And um, you've had about a dozen treatments. And how many percent improvements in your balance would you say you've had? Uh, it's from 1 to 10. Yeah, like how many percent? Uh, I like, would say 8 or 9. So 80 or 90 percent improvement. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's, that's pretty significant in just a, under just a dozen treatments, right? And what what have you, did you try any treatments before for your balance? Did you go to a neurologist or yeah. anything? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never thought about it. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then my husband said, you need to go to see Dr. Liu. Yeah. And I said, take me. All right. And Jim, what have you noticed about Patricia's balance? Before and after. I can notice when, I'm, uh, when we're walking uh, yeah. and I hold her hand, it, she used to squeeze my hand hard. Now, yeah. now we're just holding hands. Wow. Uh -huh. We go in the movies, she's doing better. She's worse when uh, in a dark situation. Okay. And now when we go in, she's doing better. And just her thinking process seems to be clearer. Wow, even your thinking, your acuity, yes. memory is starting to improve. Great. Just little things like cooking uh -huh. dinner and, and washing dishes and stuff. She'll, she's more aggressively doing those kinds of things. Wow, wow, that's great. And um, so what I'm going to do now is um, we're going to demonstrate your improvements in your balance because what a lot of folks don't know, realize is the number one cause of falls and fractures and sometimes death if you fracture your skull is poor balance. And as we age, sometimes the nerves in our feet, they don't respond as well as when we were younger. So it's very important to maintain your balance and leg strength, which is really the pillar and foundation of That's your whole body. That's what they've been working on. Exactly. Gym, yeah. Yeah. Now that we got your nerve function and your ability to feel the ground better, now we can start balancing your core, you know, getting back to all your, you know, yoga and exercises, and then we can start strengthening the legs, and you can enjoy all those long walks yes. and vacations, all right? Yeah. Now what I'm going to have you do now is, um, can you folks, uh, I'm going to have you get up, and I'm going to have you walk out the door and show us your new balance skills. And go ahead and go out the door, walk to the front desk, and come back. And come on back. Yeah. Look at you, good control, good balance and everything. Good proprioception, your ability to you know, navigate and confidence. You could actually feel the ground, correct? All right. 
Well, um, have a seat. I'm going to show you results as well. Okay. All right, so, have a seat, Jim. Yeah. So this is uh, your results of your first neurofeedback treatment right here. And as I showed you before, we were looking at different areas of your brain, 40 different points, and we were going to compare the before and afters right here. So as I showed you before, the main thing we were looking at is these areas, alpha, beta, data, data, alpha, beta, alpha, <laughs> it's been a long weekend, <laughs> delta, theta, alpha, and beta waves, they were all hyper excitatory, which means they were too increased, which means your brain could not really relax, and that can cause some memory loss, anxiety, some insomnia, acute or chronic, and so we can see all 40 areas was, was either red or yellow, meaning they were too high and too hyper. But now after a dozen of the neurofeedback light and transcranial magnetic therapies, we did a, a brain map again, a reevaluation with the EEG technology, and you can see only three out of the 40 points are either red or yellow. They've all calmed down. Looks like the majority are green, which is absolutely normal. In fact, it looks like we overcompensated because 15 out of 40 are actually too low. So what we need to do is adjust the neurofeedback and magnetic therapy to get most or all these areas in the green to normalize your brain function. Here we go. So there you have it, folks. Um, another miracle we can chalk up. Uh, thanks to Jim, um, you know, with the good results he had and trusting us with his wife. And we're excited. and going to put her on a maintenance plan to really uh, so she can enjoy her new her balance and her improved uh, brain function thank you for watching yeah.